Well, we got a brown package unit here, not heating, customer says. We've actually done quite a bit to this, this particular package unit. It's had a heat exchanger. Um, it's had several igniters. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, it's pretty much all it's had. Heat exchanger and a few igniters. So let's open it up, see what happened. Yeah, and we got another igniter bed. Damn. Looks like something's leaked on it. You see it broken down there? It sure does look like something has leaked on it. Like I said, this, this heat exchanger is new. Hmm. That's weird. Alright, let's put a new igniter in her. Yep, there she is. These go bad quite often, but... This is like an absurd amount of igniters this thing's been through. This is at least... At least the fifth one I've done in the past five or six years on this one. Weird stuff. This is it here, uh, 208, 230 volt. So you can't just throw any old igniter in her because she's 230 volt. There she is. I got the new one in, but that screw there was kind of wore out, kind of rusty, wasn't holding it good. So I put this new screw in there. It's a lot longer than the other one was, but I'm not that worried about that. At least it's in there tight now. Something's definitely been leaking onto there and it looks like it's been coming from that draft inducer. That seal around there. I'll have to see if I can get a new seal for that or maybe even put some more silicone on it. wouldn't fit in there with how long that screw was so I had to cut some of that screw off you can see it right in there it wouldn't fit in that little hole so I'm about to put these um, quarter inch screws back in there we're not going to use an impact because we don't want to vibrate this thing and put any stress on that new igniter and use hand tools. This one there. Tighten that guy down there. She's fired up now. I'm just uh, going to check the gas pressure and the combustion of it now. Seems like it's running good. I'm gonna go over over everything on it. Record some of this here. About 40 parts per million. Running at 83% efficient. All this looks good, so it's odd it keeps burning up igniters. I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of it though. Seems like it's running good. I just don't know where the heck all this water's coming from. Or all this rust, I should say. I'm taking my stuff off here. I had it jumped out. I'm having the homeowner start it up naturally from the thermostat. See what it does. All right, the igniter's coming on now, and uh, it seems like it stays on for a really long time before the burner lights. Um, I don't know what the actual time is, but this was this stayed on for 50 seconds. So I'm not sure if there, there is an actual time delay on that board or not, but 
50 seconds seemed pretty long to me. Um, so I am going to check with Brone, um, our Brone representative or tech guy um, through Ari Michael, and, and see what he says about that. It does seem like a long delay, but it could be normal. But it's about to light here in one minute. And after that, it seems like it's running fine. So went over everything, recorded everything. I might touch base with him, see uh, um, maybe they had a bad run on these igniters. I don't know. We'll find out, though. But that's uh, about it for this one, guys. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you're new here. I just got some goodies in the mail from Inficon. I'm going to be going over those in tomorrow's video and might even do a giveaway. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.